Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this song called Bottled Up by Dina Jane, okay? So I'll give you a preview of the awesome catchy chorus section that goes like this, repeats like this, check it out. And then repeats. To it so pretty catchy stuff let's go ahead and break it up into two parts to learn it so it's easy to learn really simple because both part the right hand is actually the same just the different chords on the left hand so here we go right hand starts on the e here middle c c e that's where we start so two e's down to a a b d e e f sharp f sharp just like that very simple one more time for this right hand so it goes like this goes e e down to a a b sharp f sharp and that's the rule for the right hand okay so once you get that right hand there left hand two chords here the two chords are d major both of them are d major which is d f sharp a so we have two of these d major chords okay so with these two d major chords in mind the two hands together goes like this right hand starts with the e second e and d major together second e and d major together and that's it for the first part okay one more time it goes like this just like that, that's the first part. Moving on, second part is really easy. Right hand's exactly the same as the first part, so just E, E, A, A, B, D, E, E, F sharp, F sharp, and that's it for the right hand. So exactly the same as the first part. Remember that. Once you do get that, the left hand is different two chords here. The two chords are B minor, which is B, D, F sharp, and then the second chord changes to G major, which is G, B, D. Okay? Just like that. So with these B minor and G major chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this. So once again, it starts E, second E and B minor together. Second E and G major together. Like that. One more time, it goes like this. Like that. And that's it for the second part. Easy stuff. So back to back, the two parts will just be played like this. Check it out. Yeah, so that's it. Yeah, so after you got this melody and chords right and all the rhythm correct, very comfortable with it, then you can start to think of other improvisation and decoration patterns to put into it to make it more interesting. You can do like a rhythmic pattern to it, so you can be like. Etc. You can do all this stuff to it. You can even like. stuff okay just play around with it okay but anyway that's pretty much it if you want to learn how to do all this other stuff that i just did how to play by improvisation and all this kind of patterns to learn i teach it on my piano courses link in the description below is my website called bestpianomethod.com you can learn from uh, from my piano courses there i teach you how to play by ear improvise read sheet music play and sing and a lot of other cool stuff and yeah that's pretty much it also check out the rest of my channel if you like these step-by-step -step piano tutorials because literally i have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of other videos similar to this for you to enjoy and learn from so go ahead and check it out as well uh, you most likely can find your favorite songs to learn on my channel but anyway that's pretty much it as for now enjoy time around my channel and see you next time thanks for watching for those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear grab the free preview of my book or just visit my website bestpianomethod.com for all my other piano mastery courses sheet music song requests and services all the links are in the description below See you next time.